everybody welcome back we are doing something a little different today this is our first time going to try to do a coaster not only a coaster but the design we're gonna what what there's paint over here no go on go 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 Ah, uh, that was Purper making her visit to the basement, wondering what Mommy's doing. I've got paint drips on the floor. I don't need her licking it off her feet. Okay, so not only are we doing a coaster for the first time, we're experimenting a little bit. And I do have two extra coasters that I can experiment a little bit with, and the rest I can use as coasters but we're going to try to do a Sheely-esque type bloom. The reason why I say that is I have not taken classes on how to do it and so just there's some paint splatter up there and so um, I don't know if I'm doing it the Sheely way but I just want something like it. It doesn't have to be exactly it. So I've put down some paint. This is bright white semi-gloss. I have not diluted it. I've seen folks dilute it and I've seen folks not dilute it. So we're gonna leave it as is and see what happens. And then the rest of my colors are Artist Loft. I've got deep magenta, light green, deep yellow, turquoise, Titanium white if I need it. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to need that. And metallic silver, metallic black. And then I do have a little bit of white with some silicone in it left over from something else. And that will be my cell activator. And it doesn't take much of that from what I've seen. So I'm trying to think what order to put things down in. Let's do turquoise. Let's put a little bit more. You know me, I tend to overdo. I'd rather have too much than too little. Let's do light green. Let's do deep yellow. Well, it's flowing right off the paint, isn't it? Deep magenta. Let's do metallic silver. Let's do metallic black. I didn't look to see the opacity, opacity, opaqueness of the different layers so we shall see i'm hurrying because it's not supposed to all run off let's see what we can do here With it all running off, I don't know if we're going to get enough of it on those colors. On those corners, not covers. I don't know why I said that. Whoops, I lifted up the... thing when I did that.
looks a little chameleon over here. Okay, first attempt, not bad. Not liking it though. So now let's try it while thinning that house paint out. Having a layer of paint may help also. I didn't do that. Okay, so I thinned out the house paint. So we'll see how it works this time. We're going to do the same colors. I think I'll mix it up a little bit though. <laughs> and I do have to make new cell activators. So let me do that first, just in case everything starts to go wonky again. Tell which way it's tilted, can't you? Right. I think that was too much cell activator, but that's all right. Moving this up so I don't keep leaning into the wet paint. Am I doing too many colors? <laughs> Move the whole table. Ah, this is closer to what I'm trying to do, but I'm not doing it the way I need to. All right, let's. Put a wedge in right under here. Let's do green, yellow, green, yellow, and black with a cell activator. I think I'm going to have to go back to watching some more videos. <laughs> I started to turn off the lights and then realized I forgot to say anything. We will be back with experimenting for tile so that I can do some coasters. Hello everyone. We're going to try the tile again. <laughs> I got some new paints in, some new pouring medium in, and I forgot to get my house paint. I do have my leftover house paint from last time, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm just trying to see if I've got the right idea for doing blooms and kind of go from there. But we are... Okay, forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, 
So we got some mica powders in from Arteza. And so I'm going to experiment with those today. This is, it's probably too big, but that's the box. And it comes with all of these. I don't know if you can see the colors. And I forgot to lock in the zoom. Um, but those, those are the colors. I don't know if you can see them very well. But this is another way to get... Um, some of the vibrant colors that you see folks using. So I'm giving them a try. My mixing of them didn't turn out how they do for some folks. So for instance, uh, this one right here is chocolate brown. And you can see the color right there. And when I mixed it in the cup, it's got that hazy look to it. The hazy looks like it's going to go away. One of the things in one of the videos I watched uh, said to do is put a dollop on the lid. If I get a little closer to you there. You can see how the outside edges are already brighter than the middle, which is a little hazy. So I think I'm going to be okay, even though it didn't look like the other folks' uh, pictures. I think we're going to be okay. The only thing I didn't get an answer to was if the mica powders are transparent or not, or opaque or semi-transparent. So this will be experiment with that as well. The other mica powder I'm using is peachy beige. So chocolate brown and peachy beige. 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 Beige is a combination of beige and maize. <laughs> Which is what this one kind of looks like. This is um, Naples yellow. Which is um, Artist Loft. I have not used Naples yellow before. This is a brand new color for me. And then we're also going to do Amsterdam. This is Payne's Gray, and the Payne's Gray is semi-transparent. The Naples yellow is opaque. And then I'm also doing, uh, for my cell activator, Amsterdam titanium white. And I'm using that one instead of my Artist Loft Titanium White, which I always use. The Amsterdam Titanium White is opaque, whereas the Artist Loft one is semi-transparent. So we're going to experiment and see how things go. we got to see if we can even do a bloom. And if we can do a bloom, I'm curious as to what these colors will do. Because my bathroom is going to be similar colors. And I've got a, a plunger, a toilet bowl brush and plunger set, a waste basket, a soap dispenser, a toothbrush holder, and the ends of the curtain rod to uh, paint. And what I would really like to do is do a bloom on the ones that I can do a bloom on and kind of go from there. Um, I'm not going to actually attempt any of that until they get here on Monday. Today is Saturday. Um, I'm hoping to get samples of um, the light gray and the uh, shower and the vanity uh, top and the paint that's going on the walls. The colors I've picked today I think are going to be similar. I don't know how well they're going to match. So this is just to give me an idea and to practice doing the Sheely Bloom. I heard somebody call it Shelly. Um, so I don't know if it's Shelly or Sheely. So let's go ahead and put our base down, which is too thin, which is why I meant to get some paint today. And by the time I remembered I was going to do that today, I forgot. <laughs> and they were closed by the time I did remember. So we're using this one which is a little too thin but at least I've got a base. Alright. 
I want to do my Payne's Gray second to last. It's going to be under the cell activator because I think the, the Payne's Gray is kind of a blue gray. And I think if I, oh, this is my thickness. I've tried to do them. I think that was my problem the last time was it wasn't thick enough. And this still isn't quite thick enough, even though I followed one of the formulas exactly. But it's thicker than I've used before. So we'll go a little thicker than I did before. See how that does. And kind of go from there. These are all the same consistency except for the house paint. And then the cell activator is thinner. Okay. So what order? Let's do... Then let's do this one. It is leaning slightly. Let me go get a thing to prop it up. That might be too much. Let's do the champagne beige. And some of these have a metallic look to them and some of them don't, so that will give me an idea about things as well. I'm not working fast enough. Just a little bit of cell activator. Just trying to give it a minute before I spin. Let's go ahead and spin. It got on the other painting, but that's okay because it's ruined anyhow. I'm going to try it without the white base. I'm gonna leave this one the way it is just because I wanna see how it dries. It's not terrible, but it's not what I'm wanting. There's a skin there. I'm gonna get it back centered. All right, we are going to do the same order, I think. Hopefully that is more centered than it was before. I'm using Artist Loft Titanium White this time, just to see if that helps.
well, I like this one better. There's not as much, I'm, I can't get the lacing to come up. So I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to add some glue, glue all to these cups to thicken them up a little bit. See if that helps. I know I don't have the house paint, um, so that part's not doing what it should be, but I think I'm okay anyhow. I like this one better. I, the white hasn't taken it over. You can see all the different colors, but it's not doing what I want it to. That actually thickened it up too much. <laughs> now it's like icing. Almost there. I tell you what, I've spent more time mixing up paints tonight than I have doing anything else today. Even longer than cleaning the bathroom out, which took an hour and a half, maybe. Okay, so they're slightly thicker. I don't know if you can see the mound. So that's what I'm going to get all of these up to. This is the chocolate brown. It looks milky white, but that's going to dry um, that glittery brown color. So I'm not going to worry. All that white's going to go away because it dries clear. All right, this is the Payne's Gray. It's going to dry much darker than this. Actually, the mound's lasting a little too long. Let me put a little more in. Well, it's a little thinner. Maybe not as much as it needs to be. But there you go. That's going to dry a lot darker. And last one is the champagne beige. All right, there's the champagne beige. All those colors are going to dry darker. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's try this again. With the thicker base, I'm gonna go ahead and put down my too thin house paint. I'm putting more than I need to, just to get it out to the edges. Same order on the colors. Let's see how we do. So I thickened it up. So the paints are now the paint, Liquitex, glue all, and water. Because my pouring medium is water and glue all to begin with, but it was too thin. But I had to use it to thin it down after adding the glue all straight. I did a dollop of glue all, which turned it into really thick cake batter. But I think we're a good consistency now on all of them. Much thicker. I'm getting the mound. So let's see if that helps. I'm going to do a little bit more just to make sure we have more yellow than white when it spins out. I just realized I did the wrong order, but that's all right. I forgot to do that the first times.
it slid right off. <laughs> Even though it didn't turn out the way I want it to, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in for a close up. Uh, then I'm going to move it. I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and see how it dries just to get an idea. I think I'm going to have to do something different for the patterns that I want for the pieces I want to do in the bathroom. So um, I'm actually with the extra paint going to do another canvas. Um, but let me bring in for this one and I'll just show you a dry picture so that you can see that's kind of cool. Keep doing that, we'll bring it up a little bit more. So let me bring you in for a close up and we'll go from there. So there's the spot on the mat that I said, oh, that's cool. So um, I'm actually gonna move the mat over and see if I can get some skins out of this. But here's the tile. It doesn't look too impressive. <laughs> That's Buddy or Smokey. But we're gonna let it dry, see what happens, and go from there. So it's been a week since I experimented with trying to do the Shelly Bloom. And the more videos I watch, the more I believe it is pronounced Shelly, not Sheely. Uh, so I'm going to try to say it correctly from now on because I've been saying it incorrectly ever since I started watching videos. <laughs> we are going to experiment some more. I can't tell if that's canvas or paint. I think it's canvas. So last week, these were the two tiles that we did. I've got the focus locked, so I can't bring it up close to the camera, but those are the two, and if I move it around in the light, I don't know if you can see that shine, that gloss that's on them, especially this one. This one's got a lot of that gloss, which I think is from the Liquitex. This one only has a little bit, like right in there, right in there. And... They didn't work the way I wanted them to, but I still let them dry because I wanted to see the colors and everything once they dried. And they did dry darker than when they were wet, so that's the good news. I'm going to later see if I can get the paint off of these and be able to reuse them, but I might not be able to do that. This was the canvas we experimented with didn't darken and unhaze the way I wanted it to. In fact, the sides are still really hazy, if you can see that. I think that was because I mixed the glue with the Liquitex. I think that's why it's so hazy. So I'm going to stick with what I know, which is my glue and water pouring medium, and kind of go from there. I do like the effect that this did. And I like the cells up here. I just wish it hadn't been hazy, is all. So as I said, I watched a bunch more videos. And I'm going to try a different cell activator. I tried to peel the paint off and I got a bunch of flakes. And I didn't want to put water on it and then try to experiment. So I figured I'll, uh, I'll clean it real good after this experimentation. But we're going to try again. I've done a new cell activator and this one is the glue recipe. Get all those bubbles out of there. It's the glue recipe which uh, seemed to work really well and since that's what I'm comfortable with I tried doing that recipe instead so we'll see how I do with it. I've also got my paint I've got my paint. I don't know if you can see. It's still fairly thick. It mounds up, which is what we want. 
this paint, I don't, I can't remember if it's the exact same kind I got last time. So just in case, this is ultra white, semi-gloss. I was going to get the high gloss, but they didn't have an untentable in stock. So we went with the medium or uh, semi-gloss and ultra white. I thinned it just a little bit <laughs> so that I still have it thick, but able to flow. So hopefully that works. If not, I can still thin it down a little bit if needed. And rather than trying to use the colors that I'm going to use for the bathroom, which all the bathroom stuff is here now. This is what the tub is going to look like. If you can get a good look at that. So we've got some beige, some light, light brown, some kind of a medium gray. So those are the colors I was aiming for. And I was trying to do it in my head and it wasn't working out right. <laughs> but we are, um, we've got samples now so I can actually do better. But that's actually one of the shelf corners. Um, <laughs> but I need to see if what I'm wanting to do for some of the pieces, at least, this won't be for all of the pieces. But I've got to see if what I want to do will actually work. So, we're still experimenting. I'm going to use the colors I've already got mixed up. We're going to reuse these tiles because they're already ruined anyhow unless I can get the paint off. And if I can get the paint off, then I can do it with all of it, not just the one. And not, not just the one layer. I'll be able to do it with all of it. But otherwise, if I can't get this bottom layer off, it's already ruined anyhow, so that's all right. My... Cell activator is using Amsterdam Titanium White. Then my color colors are going to be Artist Loft Aqua Green, Light Magenta, Brilliant Yellow, and Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber is hard to work with, so since I'm experimenting, I'm going to go ahead and see what colors I can get to work with it. I know not to put the yellow and the brown next to each other. <laughs> Past that, I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to experiment a little bit. I'm going to work fairly fast because I don't know if I have this actually level. Let's pull that out just a little bit. Deep breath. Here we go. Want just a little bit. And actually, I think I am leaning still. I'm going to go ahead and pop those bubbles. All right, let's do brown on the bottom. I'm going to do aqua green next. It's been a while since I've used some of these colors. Let's do pink and end with yellow. And we are leaning that way just a bit, so let's move that over there. All right, a little bit of cell activator.
actually had cells before I did that last part, but not in the white. And I was trying to get the white to do it. So the cells are actually coming up from my uh, regular mix that I have. So let's take this off. All right, let's try this again. I thinned the pillow base just a little bit more. I've taken the yellow out. We're going to just do burnt umber, aqua green, and light magenta. And then I did the cell activator recipe, but with artist loft white instead. And see if that works a little better. Still leans a bit, doesn't it? Okay, it stopped moving, so that's good. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and get these corners. Just to make sure it does slide that way. Try to get it in the center of the spinner. I washed my Wonder Woman apron, <laughs> but it's getting all messy again. The brown didn't like the, the white, so I'm going to put the green down first. Now the brown. Try to keep it as swirls rather than actual puddles. Cell activator. Might have been too much. wait a little bit before I spin it. Just trying to spin it hard. That didn't work. I think we're getting closer, but it's not really bringing the colors through. That was a good spin. I'm still trying to figure out how to best get this to do what I want. I'm going to skip the cell activator, do the house paint, the artist loft colors, and then see what we get when we do that. And I'm going to spiral the colors a little bit more. Good pillow. There's some bubbles that don't want to pop. I'm going to put pink down. Brown down. And aqua green. Now let's see what happens without a cell activator.
I think I blew too much from the side rather than down on. Yeah, I blew all my paint off. Let's try this again. And maybe not so much pillow this time. Just trying to keep it in the center. And maybe I've got my pillow paint too thin again. Good news is the brown is not reacting the way it did the first time. I'm going to go ahead and do the cell activator this time. moving the whole tablecloth. <laughs> I had a feeling I'd spin it too hard. The tile did break. I still can't get it to do what I'm wanting it to do right there. Okay, I'm making a total mess. No. What? No. Dude, don't come in this area. I got paint everywhere. No. Go on. Go. Yep. Ah. You guys will see her dancing with me when we were fixing up the art studio area. She's been coming downstairs more. It's a little warmer down here than it used to be. It's getting ready to get cold again, though, so it's supposed to possibly snow tomorrow. It was beautiful yesterday, though. I've made a total mess. Totally forgot about the wet paint on the floor and stepped all in it and tracked it all over the floor. It's a good thing it's not a nice floor. <laughs> Whenever I do get around to finishing the basement, I'll have to remember to put a nice big drop tarp <laughs> down and only wear certain shoes in this area. All right, we're going to try something different. We're going to do the same base paint. We're going to do the cell activator with the Artist Loft Titanium White. But then I thickened up my paint to see if that might make a difference because I, I noticed it was blending quite a bit, um, a lot more than you see in the other videos. So I thickened it up a little bit. Um, because I did that, it's different colors. I've got uh, neon violet, neon orange, and gray, all Artist Loft. I get the bubbles out and if that doesn't work then I'm going to put silicone and I'm going to try to get this damn it <laughs> I'm going to put silicone in the colors and see if that does anything but right now no silicone thickened up the top paint every excuse me a little burp there everything else is the same so let's see if that makes a difference. And I cleaned off the old tile uh, that's already messed up so that we can try it since the other one broke. Get some of those bubbles out too. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. <laughs> I was going to shoo her out of the area. And I've got to get used to the fact that my stuff behind me is closer than it was before. At least it's not on the floor and I'm kicking it though. Nice generous amount. Give it another torch. Get those bubbles. Because I don't think you really want the pillow paint, the base paint, to come up through. I'm going to do the gray. Now let's do purple. 
I want the orange to be what the cell activator highlights if it works correctly. Oops, looks like I got a little too close with the torch on that one spot. That's all right, since we're just experimenting, I can't get those bubbles to come up. All right. Try not to be too vigorous because the left-handed artist was doing some experimenting and the ones that he gently blew did better than the ones that he blew vigorously, as he said. It's a little better. The middle is still not what I'm wanting. Let's let it develop a little bit and then we'll spin it out. Try to gently spin it out. <laughs> I've never been gentle at anything. Spin the other way. I didn't spin that very hard. <laughs> I got afraid. <laughs> the one corner is doing really well. Let's try this again. Now, some people use their blow dryer instead of blowing with their mouth. Well, we've gotten paint to the edge. Well, this is what we're wanting right here. So I needed to thicken up my paint is what I needed to do. Go ahead and get that to come down. All the, oh, that corner could use some too. And I think I'm going to let it dry. Um, well, no, I can't let it dry just like this. I am going to set it to the side. But I'm going to quit experimenting because I like these cells and I can make jewelry from those or magnets. One of the two. Plus, I want to see what happens with that middle. So let's stop experimenting while the getting is good. While the getting is good. And take a break, and then we'll be back. I figured I'd bring you guys in for a close-up since, since I had the focus on lock. So you can see what I was talking about. That's the corner that worked the way it was supposed to. Aren't those cool? So we're going to let that rest and I'll be back. 